Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to SVB Creative. This is Ashwati. In this video, I'll be showing you all 100% natural shampoo and conditioner and it works you guys when I say it works this natural shampoo is gonna remove any kind of dirt from the scalp as well as oil and also this uh, conditioner is gonna leave our hair smooth and silky I have been using this shampoo and conditioner for more than four months and it works very well for me obviously once in a while that is while traveling I use store bought shampoo because uh, obviously it is a little difficult to carry homemade shampoo the very first ingredient we need is moog dal that is green gram which is very easily available in our kitchen it has got lots of antioxidants and vitamins to it which helps to grow our hair and not just that uh, it helps to remove any oil and dirt on our hair which is great actually so we have to powder it and one more ingredient we need is fenugreek seed and this fenugreek seed uh, helps to uh, nourish our hair which is very good and also definitely it strengthens our hair and helps in hair growth. So what we need to do is we need to take this fenugreek seeds and green gram uh, seeds both together and grind it in mixer. If you can get it as powder itself then you need not grind it so that would be easier. So since I want it as natural as possible what I did, uh, did is that I, I just took the seeds both seeds together grind it in mixer and then I am gonna take a sieve and gonna separate any um, like small small particles will be there no we do not want that because we are gonna use this as shampoo that means means we want uh, we want uh, that uh, our hair to be clean we don't want any kind of particles or uh, anything like that stuck on our hair so for that make sure that this powder is very 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 fine there should not be any kind of um, like particles or anything like that in it so I've uh, taken like nice fine powder so I've taken one teaspoon of uh, green gram powder and one teaspoon of fenugreek powder okay so I have put it in a dabba and then we need is amla powder. If you can get amla and then dry it in sunlight and then powder it that would be great. Since I do not have an option like that I just bought amla powder. Amla powder is great for nice black thick hair. So I will be taking 2 spoons of amla powder. Okay, Here I would recommend just to take 1 spoon but then um, I think that amla powder is very good for our hair. It also uh, cools down our uh, like scalp which is great for hair growth that's the reason I took sp two spoons of amla powder um, to get a better result uh, what we need to do is we need to take a shikakai powder and uh, um, uh, Rita powder which I'll be showing you guys right now yeah here it is so this is Rita powder which is again easily available in any local stores I have bought this from Amazon Rita gives a like a shampoo like effect that's like it removes any oil so what we need to do is I, I have taken 5 teaspoon of Rita powder so here the ratio would be like 5 is to 5 is to 1 1 1 that means 5 teaspoon of Rita powder 5 teaspoon of uh, Shikakai powder Shikakai powder is again great to remove any oil on our hair and also it promotes hair growth and then all other ingredients like green gram powder fenugreek powder and amla powder should be 1 1 1 I hope you got it that is 5 teaspoon of shikakai powder 5 teaspoon of uh, rita powder and uh, 1 teaspoon of green gram powder 1 teaspoon of fenugreek powder 1 teaspoon of amla powder if you want you can add a little bit more of, of, of amla powder uh, that's because amla powder is very good for our hair growth so in that way it this shampoo is gonna remove any kind of oil and dirt on our hair and not just that it is gonna promote hair growth so we have added all other ingredients like green gram powder fenugreek powder and also amla powder those are for hair growth and those are for to nourish our hair and uh, to have better strength in hair and shikakai and rita even though it is good for our hair it is gonna remove the oil as well so that's how it works hope it makes sense <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna good uh, give it a good shake so that the all these powder mixes up very well so make sure that you give it a good mix and then for my hair I'm gonna take two to three tablespoon of uh, this um, mixed powder this homemade shampoo and then what we can do is either we can mix it with plain water if not you can mix it with rose water curd milk it's all up to you guys um, to save time we can definitely mix it with water so here I have um, um, I'll be mixing it with water 
and then uh, definitely you can oil your hair very well i mean not like you should not pour one bottle of uh, oil on your hair and uh, don't expect that this one would remove that oil no it uh, it should not be too much of oil it should be like normal oil <laughs> oiling if it is like regular normal oiling then this uh, herbal shampoo is going to remove that and i'll be showing you guys uh, like the live result so first uh, let me just mix it up with water um, i have taken as you guys can see i have taken 2 to 3 tablespoon of uh, powder and uh, try to add water little by little and make sure that it's a nice pasty consistency so that it would be easier to apply uh, don't make it very thick or uh, very loose so in that way it would be dis difficult to apply and uh, it would be uh, not that manageable and one more thing uh, if you want you can use this as hair pack as well that means you can apply it to your hair and let it be there for good 10 to 15 minutes in that way also it works very well if not if you do not have time then what we can do is just apply it to your hair and then just to wash it off still it works so that's what i wanted to tell you guys so um one more thing you guys i have bought all these that is this amla shikakai and uh, um rita powder from amazon so i'll be leaving the link down in description box if you guys want to check it out you can there are um, many other websites we can get this uh, powder i think it is available in purple flit uh, what do we say flipkart all these websites are these uh, things are available very easily available you can definitely get it if not you can definitely get it from any local store as well and to this i'll be adding little bit of tea tree oil 2 to 3 drops of tea tea tree oil which is completely optional but i feel that adding tea tree oil uh, gives nice uh, smell nice fragrance and not just that uh, tea tree oil is very good for scalp it uh, removes any lice or dandruff or anything like that so as you guys can see i have made it in a nice pasty consistency in this way it is very easy to uh, apply to our hair now what we need to do is uh, we need to apply to your to our hair and here uh, i have applied to my hair i have applied a little bit of oil and also i have applied a hair mask this is egg and banana hair mask okay so as you guys can see it is little oily and uh, there is this banana and egg so let's see if this home um, homemade shampoo is going to remove that so what i'll be doing is i'll be taking little by little and then applying it to my hair it smells little weird you guys i think it's because because of shikakai and uh, rita i don't know which one smells a little weird but then one among these two smells a little weird i wouldn't say it is bad but then it's a little weird and then i'll be taking sections by sections and then applying it to my hair um especially to my scalp uh, make sure that you apply this uh, to your scalp very well uh, because uh, it's very good to promote hair growth and if there is any dandruff or anything like that it good to it is good to remove that as well so i have applied to my uh, front section as well as back section back section and whatever is left over i'll be applying it um, to my hair as well and then i'll i'll just put it in a bun and let it be there for 5 minutes and then i i've just washed off with plain water obviously it takes some time to wash it off it's not like a regular shampoo soap bot shampoo um, it has got um, this um, what we say it's not like liquidy consistency it's in a pasty consistency and so it is in a powder form right uh, so that's the reason uh, it might take little time we have to uh, pour um, extra 5 to 6 cups of water to our hair and then that's it you guys i've just show you guys uh, the live result uh, how my hair looks like and then um as a conditioner i have used uh, apple cider vinegar for that i have taken half a cup of um, water and then to that i'll be adding 2 to 3 spoons of apple cider vinegar so after washing off this herbal homemade shampoo i'll just uh, pour this um Uh, apple cider vinegar water to my hair and then that's it i won't be washing off this with uh, any other water so last wash would be with this uh, particular um, conditioner water that is apple cider vinegar water and trust me you guys it is going to leave our hair very smooth and uh, silky at least it would be manageable it won't be that frizzy as before so that's how i did 
so this is how my hair looks like as you guys can see there is not much oil it, it is very good uh, it has given me good result uh, please keep in mind that please do not use a lot of oil and then expect it expect this shampoo to remove all those oil so you you should add only little you should take only a little bit of, of oil and also if you are applying any hair mask and all it is going to remove that which is great actually so i really hope this video has been helpful for you all please to try it out guys i've been trying it out for four months and it has been giving me good result so uh, please to try it out let me know how it turned out for you all i really hope this video has been helpful for you all so you know what to do please to give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already see you very soon in very next video till then it's bye bye take care love you all Mwah. bye